Frank Gonzalez with Cinemark Theaters with Tom Jackson, who plays the drug lord White Bull in the new movie Cold Pursuit. Tom, thanks for the time. My pleasure. Now, you play a drug lord um, in a movie, which is a revenge movie, that has a lot of violence, a lot of very dark humor, yet you're kind of in a sea of tranquility, a sea of calm. How do you... How did you come to this character? How did you come to the movie? And, and how, uh, how interesting was it for you to play this character? I, I brought a lot of mentors with me. I brought, let's see, Al Pacino would be a really good example. Um, and although you don't see him on set, he's part of my character. And I studied folks before me that were so indelible in gangster films that I thought, okay, here's an opportunity to breathe more life back into those characters who may have disappeared. They may have become invisible. And I decided to make them visible again. And part of that had to be this, the delivery within the presence of the film at a lower level, not a high-end, high-pitched level, but to make sure that it went down here when you talked. The because the let me tell, let me say if I tell if I say say you love me just say I love you I love you okay I can say I love you to my wife but if I say I love you it's great but if I say I love you it just sits there and it has something that if you were standing in the desert you would be able to feel it because it would come up through your your feet and would take over your whole body and all of a sudden you'd become another character that you didn't know you were. And that's what happened in this film. The juxtaposition between White Bull and Viking, you know, that what you were just alluding to, it's two total ends of the spectrum, wasn't it? It was. And might I just add to that, that when I saw the screening of this film and I saw Tom's performance, Mr. Bateman's performance, I was blown away. I mean, I, I, he is so good. He is just, like, I don't know I've, I've, that I've ever seen a character like that or anybody play a character like that. I, you know, and you tell him I said so. <laughs> I just think, you're, if you don't come and see this film just to see Tom, then you're crazy. I'm just telling you right now. You know, Liam, great, awesome, I love him. Tom, Tom, I love him. But Tom, ooh, now there's a character. You have one scene with Liam Neeson in the movie. Uh, we won't give it away what happens, but but basically... Or when it happens. Or, or when it happens. There's not a lot of conversation, but yet there's a lot of emotion and depth in that scene. How do you pull together that kind of chem chemistry when it's really just a very short time on screen? There wasn't much outside of my Tom Jackson world. And I'm going to say this now. There's not much outside of Liam's world that is different than what happened in that scene. And I can say this because I've spent time in quiet places uh, sharing thoughts and ideas and laughs and maybe not so much laughs with Liam. And he's true to form. That scene is true to form. And I don't know that it would have been any different if we were just strangers, never met, sat in that vehicle. It's a great film. Loved it. And, and enjoyed your performance too. Thanks oh, thank a lot. Thank you very much.